bonjour, mon ami. Uh, on the internet, ça va? We planned to go to Amsterdam today prior to us even coming here, but we got to Paris and we've decided that we want to stay here. We really like here. We don't want to rush it. We want to explore. So we slept in a little bit. We also planned to wake up at 6, which didn't happen. It's actually 9 in the morning now, so we're out and about walking to Corette, which is a really popular like hot chocolate breakfast place. I'm so excited to try that, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, I know, we're gonna do Amsterdam today, but the problem about that is just realize how big Paris is. It's beautiful. Yeah. And we came here with a lot of clothes for... The south of France. So if you are south, doing yeah. the south of France and Paris, you literally need to pack for two completely different weathers like i in was April, just wearing yeah. dresses there if you're coming in the spring it's still cold the french are not rude they're not they are not so i yeah. am busting that myth right here at least for our experience because it's not true we've been seeing a lot of uh, entitlement that's what it is no rude french people to be seen in sight i cannot the key is see try one. to try to, try to speak to them in, in, in french even if you don't know french first yeah know the basics chosen a table outside we're gonna sit inside first but then it was a little too warm so we chose outside but if you're coming to cry this is the hot chocolate that you want this one and then i'm also gonna do the scrambled eggs with ham and cheese i'm gonna do the same actually sure. yeah, yeah yeah thank you thank merci. you <laughs> merci Messy. Grab the whipped cream and you put it in the chocolate and then you mix it around so it's like a creamy hot chocolate. But I'm gonna try it first without it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What? Try it just like this. Oh. I'm, I'm not a fan of chocolate. Oh my god. It's Actually, like no, rich, I'm down. I'm pure down. chocolate. No, but now it's gonna dilute it a little with the cream. <laughs> you drop it like that. So this is now this one. And it melts. It has to like melt in there. You see how it's already like a lighter color? It's changing color, so like now a milky chocolatey. Okay. Oh my gosh. What are Best you cho hot chocolate I've ever had in my entire life and will ever have in my entire life. No way. Like that whipped cream? Oh Phenomenal. God. Yeah, here, drink it, because if not, I'm going to drink it myself. I'm going to order one myself. Honestly, I think there's going to be a breakfast spot from that one. That's it. Even this whipped cream. I could just eat this whipped cream. If no one was watching, I would just lick the whipped cream. Okay, Freaking. this is not hype. Like, this no. is not hype. This is not. Absolutely not. There's some places where the you go. The best hot chocolate yeah. in Paris for a reason. Yeah, there's some places where you go where it's all hype. This is definitely not hype. Even that whipped cream. I love it. I love the whipped cream. Yeah. There's like two hot chocolates in here. Come on, you drink all of that. Merci. I've never seen a sugar cube before. What? Ever? No. I've seen some. We got it at the best time. Mm hmm. Egg review. Mm -hmm. Fromage et hamon. Delicious. Mm hmm. Delicious. Okay. They're nice and, uh, good. Yeah, that's the one thing I learned. That's how it's supposed to be. They're not super cooked, which I personally don't like really cooked ones, but I've never had them this watery either. A little bit more cooked, but not super, super cooked. It mixed with the cheese. Mm -hmm. It's like an omelet. I should have got a freaking hot chocolate actually. The ham is so good. Right? I can't. Oh my god, this is the guy in front of us. You're gonna cry. You're gonna cry. The food's so good, I just wanna cry. <laughs> never eat this good again unless I come back here. We're done the hot chocolate. I finished this. Like, there's literally nothing left in it, although I wish there was. But it has three cups, so I filled my cup up three times. And I did use most of the whipped cream. But overall, everything 10 out of 10. I didn't finish my eggs just because it was a lot and I'm not used to eating so many eggs. But I did finish the bread that it came with. And it was But overall, 10 out of 10. 
Yeah, I agree. Okay, we're gonna go on to our next little adventure. Which will start when we start walking over that way. Where are we? We are at the Cathedral, Notre Dame Cathedral. It's not open right now to the public due to the fire, but we're able to watch it from outside and then here is the boat tours that they have. It's nice. It's sad that it caught on fire and like the whole story. It kind of feels upsetting, you know what I mean? It kind of like feel like, imagine what the locals would feel like. That's something that you can't get back, ever. Yeah. Regardless of what, what type of like remodeling or whatever, or reconstruction they do. Okay, but that is Notre Dame Cathedral. Okay. And now we're going to... The next spot. So a little update, we're sitting outside of the Pantheon as you can see and we've decided we want to go up to the top and he wants to go during the day so we are currently just booking. And this is exactly what we did go to Amsterdam. You're walking around and then you start seeing all this crazy shit and then it's just like whoa let's see what we can do. Next thing you know we realize that we can go all the way up to the top, I don't know if you guys can see it, walk around all the way up there. And that should give us a full view of the top of the city. We'll see you at the top. As you can see, we've now made it inside yeah, we the Pantheon. I didn't change, you changed. He changed into his new sweater. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is absolutely breathtaking. At first, we weren't 100% sure if we were gonna come here, but boy, am I glad we did. Look at that. I don't think the camera is actually going to be able to catch how massive this place is. Look at the paintings. Yeah, we can walk up there, no? Yeah, of course. I know you guys are here for Alex, but, you know, geeky me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> guys, you can guys, there's a rope. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a rope. <laughs> I'm like geeking out here and I almost freaking fell right into the rope. Good job. <laughs> the panorama's here. We've been to the Pantheon in Italy, but we didn't really go inside because it was closed. Beautiful. Just so you guys can see some behind the scenes. Honestly, if you guys are coming to Paris, you guys gotta check this out. In case you're wondering what it looks like behind the camera. <laughs> the behind the scenes. <laughs> no, my purse is not from France, if in case you're wondering. It's not from Paris. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> wow, look at this. There's no way that this is from back in the day. What is this? In case you guys have an iPhone and you guys don't know about that. So what you do is put it right here. Select the text, you press this button. And then translate. Should show you what it says. I mean, let me take over. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, just uh, <laughs> we were just uh, taking a little detour back to our geeky section. Oh, <gasps> I have no idea, but this is probably some like it's a clock. Is it a clock? Look at the numbers. Holy shit, and look, it's all the way up there. It's connected to that thing all the way up there. So the string is coming down this way. I feel like I'm in my own little podcast here with my mic. You don't have to put your mouth right on it, it'll hear you. You don't even know what you're filming. You're like. <laughs> Sorry guys. I've been focusing more on the mic here right next to my mouth when I'm filming. 100% I know when I'm going to edit this, I'm going to have to lower the mic too because he's like <laughs> literally his mouth is on the mic. He's like, hello. Literally his mouth is there. Things I do for you guys to bring you guys. Just so you guys, when you see the fire Instagram stories on my thing, just know it's him laying on the ground and getting the shot. We figured out that's a clock. But just so you know. 
So far, this looks really cool. We see the mini version of it. 10 out of 10. What do you think about this place? I really like it. Over here. We're here about, what, 2? 2, 2 p.m. on a Saturday, which, thinking about it now, I thought it would be a lot more busy. It's not as busy. But still busy. It's hard to get a photo with nobody in yeah. the shot. And there's so many good places to take photos in. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go see the dead people first. Off to the cabin. Well, this is a crypt. The tunnels. Yeah. It's underground. Oh, wow. Wow, this is going to be a really nice freaking vlog. Not that this is, your vlogs are not nice. They're very nice all the time, but look. This place is just ridiculous. His strategies were met. Oh, I think that's who's actually buried. Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a crypt. If you guys see, the door is open and the hand is sticking out. It's not closed. So I'm assuming that he's actually buried here. There's actually a statue of the guy that's Sorry, actually hidden there. Point. So he was a poet, historian, philosopher. Oh wow, Armenian genocide which left him an orphan. He played an important role, political organizer in Armenia and France, working with, alongside with his wife, Malini. Indeed, the couple was inseparable. His love of France, his culture and values began to blossom during the formative war. What's over here? Wow, these tombs are more than 150 years old. 1766 to 1852. These are more than 100 years old. At first, I didn't know what to expect with coming to a crib, but coming to a crib, it, it, there's like a lot of respect that you feel for these people that are here, even though you don't know who's in here. We got in guys, we got in. It's like every single time we come to Europe, we always gotta do these damn long steps in order to get the sickest views. Florence, Florence was the worst. This one's not that bad. Yes, we get a break. After you. My legs are on fire. We made it to the first point. We still gotta go up there. Let's continue. Follow me. I told you guys we were on a mission to get up here. This is the perfect view. For context, look at how massive this place is. Alex, the building. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go again. Oh shit. All right. Holy. Damn, these are so small. Okay. Let's the stairs. Guys, look at this. Here you can see the whole city. And there's the cathedral. Wow, Paris is beautiful. I love Paris. All right, guys, we're gonna go downstairs. Thank you for joining us here. See you later, friends. Shout out to Pablo for taking a lot of today's footage. Next, we're going to City Pharma, which, oh my gosh, a shout out to Pablo again for trying to film the chaoticness. Like, I thought I was gonna film a huge vlog in here, but it was just so packed, so crazy. There I am walking, and Pablo really tried his best to squeeze and get footage. But, like, as you can see, there was just so many people. It was chaotic, but we made it. I will show you the haul later on in this video. Look at this face. Look at how red I am. Women are animals. Update, guys. We got a car for tomorrow but we also went to city pharma and when i say i did damage literally this bag is full of skincare that was insane we went to a pharmacy in italy and let me tell you it was nothing compared to this like yeah i'm literally sweating too like i'm 
sweating from this. It was literally madness and I was worried about pickpocketing. 90% of those reviews say that it's a really good pharmacy, which it is. They have a lot of product, but you get pickpocketed there. So you'll get your passport taken, card, wall your wallet, anything like that. They will steal it out of your pocket if you're not careful. And I can 100% see why because it is so hectic. People are bumping into you that don't even want to pickpocket you that are also there to buy. So you don't know who's pickpocketing you and all of that. So hectic but we got the goods and now we're gonna get butter okay this is everything i bought from city pharma so we got the a313 where we can't get in canada this apparently we can't get in canada it's the b5 serum with spf 50 so i got one of those a mini one this was seven euros these were 12 this is the bigger size one we have the vino perfect and oh my gosh this retails in canada for 110 dollars and i bought it at city pharma for like $43 Canadian each. So two for less than the price of one. I could have bought one more. You know what I mean? This I got for my mom. So I'm going to give her that. I also got another Caudalie eye serum. As well as cream. So I'm going to use all of those. And then I got this spray. I've heard so many good things about it. Super expensive in Canada. So might as well pick it up. This we don't even have in Canada. So had to pick that up. Got some of these as well deodorant that they have here this is a sunscreen stick spf 50 it's really tiny so picked it up for my mom as well she can just like put it in her purse since she likes to go on walks with my dad my dad can also use that then i also found this deodorant and this is everything that i got from city pharma next up we went to le grand epicerie i think that's how you say it it's like their supermarket but wait till you see what we got i'm so excited we got two of these ones. Bread, we should have gone to a boulangerie, but we didn't, so this is already pre-cut. We also have a toaster to make it nice and toasty, so we're gonna do that. Butter, when I say butter, I mean we literally got six sticks of butter. I think is olive oil, no idea what this one is. Semi-salt, some sort of vanilla, I'm not sure. I think this is semi-salt, and this is the last one. So, we're gonna make bread really quickly. I'm gonna charge you guys for like five minutes while I make the bread, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Even just smelling this, I can already tell it's better than the bread back home. I don't even know if I wanna wait for a sandwich. Like, I think I just wanna eat. This smells really fresh and really good. I had to take a bite. The French have perfected bread. My sandwich, I picked it with semi-salt. I put a lot of butter, actually. I <laughs> maybe overdid the butter. <laughs> I like this one. This one's nice. Also, their toasters are weird. So you know how ours has two slits, Ren, for each toast? Mm -hmm. These, you put one slit, both toasts. That's so weird. You know what? I think we're going to switch it up. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put bread and the different butters. So we have four butters left. We're gonna do parts with this and then we'll have another one with the ham. How did you know I was filming it though? Cause I can see record. It's my camera. <laughs> Why? I wanted them to see you in like your natural like habitat. habitat? Why, what, what do you mean? Oh, cause I gave you mine? You don't change, yeah, exactly. Oh, is that what you asked me again? What about yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, I told him he could have it. <laughs> Very giving. Thank you. In your natural habitat. Let's try vanilla. Thank you. Mm. That one would be good if you're making a cake. If you're making a cake, get the vanilla one to give it that like extra vanilla -y taste, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. vanilla on bread. Mm -mm. Next up we have, I'm not really sure. Let's take a bite and see. Mm. Whoa, what is it? Mm. It has a taste to it. It's self-humane. While he does that, I'm gonna put the next butter. That smoked stuff. I need a hundred of these. What? A hundred. I freaking love This one's garlic. bomb. The smoked salt? Mm -mm. I no. love garlic. Garlic. That one's bomb. The smoked salt? That one's second. Garlic is my shit. Like, if you give me garlic, I love yeah. it. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to France just for that butter. Done. I'm happy. I don't think any other flavor will top that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Garlic is bomb. That with the ham, that's it. That's all you need. Butter and ham. Last but not least, not gonna top the the garlic, but what is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that unsalted? 
That might be unsalted. I think that's unsalted. Dom? Dom. Dom. D O N X. Donks. I want salt butter. Oh, I guess for pastries as well. If you need like room temperature, soft butter, that's the one. But I would recommend the vanilla one. What have I learned from France so far? It's expensive. Super expensive, and you don't even feel it. You don't even feel it. But France has some of the best food out there, though. I mean, is it worth it dropping all that money? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. If you're doing a trip like ours, where we went to the south, and then you're coming up to the top, have an extra, like, give or take, like, $1,000, $2,000 on the side just for spending. And one of the things that I would say is just grab a rental. Continue, son. Mm hmm Because... What do you have in there? <laughs> I forgot about this. Guys, we want to... See what I mean? Like, this is how it gets expensive. This Hold is on. exactly what I'm talking about. This is how it gets expensive. It's You don't feel it. You don't feel it. But then afterwards... Okay. You get home and then you're just like, holy shit, I spent all this money today <laughs> on what? We're blowing money on food, but I got this from Un Boulangerie. You see this? <laughs> Delicious, okay? Okay, and then Paris has a famous... Crookie, cr cr croissant, cr crookie croissant, something like that. I don't know. Um, it's a croissant baked with a cookie. So you're getting a cookie inside the croissant and on top of the croissant, but a chocolate chip cookie, and they mix it together. So that's dessert, as well as this. I'm putting it back in the fridge. You know what I mean? Like, like the bol the boulangeries. Yeah, are but not expensive. But if you go out to eat, it's expensive. So like what we spent here for lunch. We went off because the butters, but just the bread and the cold cuts. The cold cuts are actually really well yeah. priced at like well, four euros. Oh yeah, because of the butter. The butter is what was the most expensive and that's what stocked it up because this one was like, why don't you just get one of each and let's try it and see which one we like the best. Mm -hmm. Usually we don't spend that much money. We usually don't. You can't say no. Other than that, what have we learned from France? Everybody's nice. Okay, sandwiches are done. I have one with the garlic butter, of course. That's another one. She gets mad at me if I don't eat and the food is warm. I know, I sound like my mom. Because my mom always complains that my brother doesn't eat right away. And I'm the same with him. It's like, I just made you your sandwich nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the is unreal. Mm. We already finished the bread. There's still like one more mm. sandwich left and that's it. So we have to go to the boulangerie. Because technically this isn't even like the best bread. Smoke goes actually well with uh, with the meats. It gives it that smoky, uh, smoky taste. Oh yeah, that's really bomb. It's actually really good. It actually adds a smoky taste. We'll talk to you on our next adventure. Bye! <laughs> Quick intermission to announce our $100 Lululemon E gift card winner. This is the comment that won. Comment down below or DM me on Instagram to claim your prize. <laughs> Water. Right. We are somewhere around here in the middle. There's no way. There's only a little bit, I think. Alright, finally we finished it. Oh yes. Downstairs again. And this is fire. The eternal flame. As much as I know that doesn't turn out. Interesting. We're done for the day guys, that is it. We gotta get back to the tunnel, across the road. But we're ending it here. Cause we're tired. Exhausted. We're going home, going to sleep, and then waking up at 4 in the morning. So oh, if you wanna see what tour. we're doing, huh? For the last tour, sorry. Yeah, they closed at 45 minutes before. Oh, they didn't make it in time. But we're going home, we're going to sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow at 4 in the morning. Bye. Our new trip.